In this video, we'll be finding horizontal asymptotes of rational functions with Bobo Botten eats DC. So you want to think Bobo Botten here is, is some sort of monster and it's coming, it's going to eat the District of Columbia. And also when we talk about horizontal asymptotes, uh, we're talking about end behavior. Uh, for those of you in calculus, uh, this will be limits at infinity. Uh, so let's go ahead and fill out what Bobo Botten stands for. Right, so Bobo, so bigger on bottom, all right, that means that it goes to zero. So that's the Bobo part. So bigger on bottom goes to zero. The bottom part. So bigger on top, if it's bigger on top, and we'll talk about what that means in a second, that means it goes to infinity. Okay, so bigger on bottom goes to zero, bigger on top goes to infinity. Now each the same Now what do we do here? We divide coefficients. Okay, so let's just read through it again. Bigger on bottom goes to zero. Bigger on top goes to infinity. Each the same, divide coefficients. Let's see what that means with some examples. All right, so we're going to do these three examples right here. So let's look at this rational, uh, rational function. Again, rational functions are polynomials uh, divided by polynomials. Uh, so I look through, and I have x cubed plus 2x plus 10 on top. On the bottom, I have 5 plus 12x squared plus 2x to the fifth. So you'll see uh, not both polynomials are in descending order, but that's all right. We identify the, uh, the, the highest exponent in the numerator and we look at the highest exponent in the denominator. So in the numerator, I have a three. The largest exponent in the denominator, though, is a five over here, two x to the fifth. Okay, so in this rational function, the biggest exponent is on the bottom. So that means we have a horizontal asymptote of zero. So y equals zero there, horizontal line is a horizontal asymptote. For the next function, we have 3x cubed plus 2x squared plus x plus 3 divided by 7x squared plus x plus 1. Again, we look for the largest exponents in the numerator and in the denominator. So in the numerator, my largest exponent is a 3. In the denominator, my largest exponent is a 2. All right, so this one is bigger on top. Bigger on top. So this has an infinite end behavior. Uh, so that means there's no horizontal asymptote. Uh, so as x gets large on either side, either to positive or negative infinity, uh, this function will be growing either uh, to positive or negative infinity. Okay, last but not least, we have 6x cubed plus 3x plus 12 divided by 2x cubed plus 7x squared plus 5. So we identify the largest exponent. So here we have a 3 on top, largest exponent. Largest exponent on the bottom is also 3. So here we're in each of the same category. Uh, so we divide the coefficients, and the coefficients are the coefficients that occur with the largest uh, exponents. So the horizontal asymptote here is 6 over 2, or a number that's better known as 3. So the horizontal asymptote here is y equals 3. Hope you found this video helpful.